Six week 13 edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Claim your risk free bet up to $500 over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet Rivers. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet Rivers. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN. To get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Factor Meals. Head to factormeals.com slash SGPN50 and use code SGPN50 to get 50% off. to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Today you meet our adventurers in Las Vegas. Yes. Having uh, navigated the air and the land to get here. Friendly skies of Southwest. Shout out oh, to Southwest. Southwest was amazing. I, from, from the end of the Southwest to, to here, no, to the beautiful was, wind. Oh. Yes. Uh, luck Adios, was not in our, Mio. Well, and it was, it was crazy this, uh, this week. Even, uh, even room-wise, it was crazy. Just like every – no one's – Sports are happening, Sean. Well, the, the, the Pac-12 Conference Championship, not only is it the last one, but then it just – it means so much more to the college football <laughs> playoff. Everyone's coming out for the game. Rooms are getting bonkers. I mean, to get an Uber, it took forever. Uh, partly I blame our driver. That guy oh. was clearly an idiot. Uh, so some of that was on the Uber driver, but still I'd it like, is a, it was a, it's a jam packed weekend out here in Las Vegas. Our, my bad. I, I hope no one, no members of the taxi union are listening to us. I've always been a staunch <laughs> supporter of, of the cabs out here. Uh, we, we tried to do something different. It was a bad idea. My bad. Our bad. Although it was basically a free ride. So yes, we, it, that was a little torn. <laughs> The guy likes free stuff. I was uh, I was on board with the free ride, but yeah, even the the cab line was super long. Normally, we cab it when we're going to the strip, yep. fixed rate to the strip. It's it's not a bad deal if you're going to the circa from the from the airport. Maybe you go Uber, Lyft. That's actually a pro tip because that it's is. not fixed rate to get down. To, it's a little messed up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Uber. We got we to gotta talk to Derek about leaning <laughs> on the uh, on the cab unions. Why ah. can't we get a fixed rate? downtown why are they hating on downtown and we will be talking yes. uh uh to derek stevens uh tonight nine o'clock pacific uh, over on vcin youtube tv just put in sports gambling podcast you see the vcin you hit record you're ready to go and back by popular demand ryan we're here talking dfs live from las vegas uh, one of the few places you can't play dfs ironically yes, we... but they can't stop us from giving out millionaire lineups yeah, prostitution, fine. <laughs> DFS, no. So we're break we're breaking the rules in Vegas now. We're gonna give out. I mean, we're he's gonna, one of those guys who will get penetration. Not not illegal to to achieve double penetration, but uh, a double stack. <laughs> yes. Don't tell him we're doing it. <laughs> Don't uh, hey. close the windows. Close the doors. I can, I know a guy. I'm Ryan. paying for a double stack in here. <laughs> that would be great if those guys on the uh, strip were always slapping those cards. <laughs> DFS delivered right to your room. Hot, willing DFS lineups coming right to your room. I, that's funny. That's if you. I do. Uh, I do enjoy you, that. Yeah, we we have some of our fans here. They're waving. Beautiful people <laughs> out here in Las Vegas. It is a bit cold out here. Yeah, a little chilly. But uh, we are going to get red hot with some picks here. Of course, uh, shout out to Bet Rivers. If you haven't signed up yet with Bet Rivers, what are you waiting for? Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet Rivers. Available in over 14 states and Ontario. Top three Canadian providence for me personally, Ron. Bet Rivers, awesome uh, for the live betting. A very good. I mean, they have a shit ton of props over on Bet Rivers. Bet menu second to none. Depositing withdrawing super easy. All you got to do is sign up using our link and get a risk free bet up to $500. That's right. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet Rivers to get started today. Problem gambling, call 1 800 Gambler. 
And of course, we're brought to you by Little C's. Oh, maybe you're maybe you're listening to this show on Saturday. Per- pairs perfectly with college football, and of course, pairs perfectly with the NFL as well as it's the official pizza sponsor of the National Football League. You can order online during our pizza pizza pregame, one hour before and three hours after NFL kickoffs, plus all day. Sunday, they got you covered with that python of flavor, a.k.a. the pretzel crust with that golden buttery brown with those delicious salt sprinkles. Uh, love me a little Caesars pretzel <laughs> crust pizza. You get the M&M cookie dough brownies. You got yourself a meal delivery or our in-store pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends. Enjoy a few slices during the game. Little C's pizza. Pizza. Kramer, how say you? Uh, well, I just said I'm paying for a double stack. In mm. here, so maybe I, I, I buried the lead. Well, I always like uh, involving the audience, and I, I came to Las Vegas, Ryan. I packed a light. I did bring with me a Kenny Pickett uh, DFS lineup, mm. but I also... Did you bring a humidifier? No, I didn't. Uh, I did. Uh, Ryan <laughs> did get selected for, uh, what was it, random additional uh, electronic surveillance? I got hit with the random electronic search. I, I come First of all, they make me wait a hilarious long period of time because the two people who are available aren't currently tasked for that job role. So we have to wait for someone else. I come through and they don't want to pat me down. They don't want to check my bag. They just want to swipe my laptop and phone. <laughs> I, what do you, you, you're not, you, you look, you putting that in a machine, see what my Reddit history is like that. It, that it, would be a little scary if they're like, all right, sir, open your Reddit app and let yeah, me see so, the last. Uh, let's see what you did in incognito <laughs> mode. Just uh, looking up Khalif Raymond statistics. That, we laugh, but that's the future, the way the government's going. Oh, wow, Ryan, come on. Sorry. I don't First know. AI, now our government. Who isn't Who isn't in the Ryan Kramer crosshairs? Uh, you know, I went to Mojave. I learned some, or I, I went to Joshua Tree. I learned some things, came back. Now I have more questions. Yes, uh, and shout out to the Seattle Seahawks for covering the spread. I know yeah. some Cowboys fans are trying to go, oh, uh, hey, you, you had some uh, pro Seattle uh, props. Well, if the, if the Jabrones ref in the game wouldn't have taken away my Noah Fant uh, touchdown right before half, then we would have gotten an incredible sweat, and I regret nothing. So I'm not apologizing for anything, Ron. What a take to tell us that we're spewing um... – <laughs> This one guy was so great. Subjective takes on a football team (laughs) that we hate. Sorry. Uh, First of all, he's like sports gambling podcast. Couldn't put away their biases to give out objectionable prop bets. We haven't picked the Cowboys (laughs) in 12 years. I just wrote back. You must be new. Uh, And also Seattle covered the spread. So that's always (laughs) what matters. Sean, what's our record this week so far? One and oh, baby. 100%. The the anti-Cowboy system strikes again. All right, you want to you want to give out a lineup here? Yes, uh, oh. but Ryan, oh. I was gonna go Kenny Pickett, and I, I oh, and I will great. tweet out Kenny Pickett's uh, lineup or give it out on the, on the uh, pregame show, pregame show, whatever people want. But I, Jeremiah, uh, producer <laughs> here, great guy, a the Vegas czar. local. The czar. Uh, yes, he is the czar here at the Blue Wire Studios at the beautiful Win Resort and Casino, and he looks at me and he's like, "We playing Joe Flacco this week?" I'm like. Damn it, because I, in the back of my head, I go, maybe I should play Joe Flacco. So that inspired me to whip up a Joe Flacco lineup. The momentum, I got I to gotta give out the Flacco lineup, Brian. Sorry. That's fine. Go. So uh, you want to start first then? Sure. Joe Flacco, <laughs> let's go. He's only $4,600. Still scrolling. Against this Rams defense. And this Rams defense, yeah, you have to scroll down uh, pretty far, right? And this Rams defense has really... Had some issues uh, over the year. It really, what the Flacco thing allows me, it, we're trying to win a million dollars. We are. And who better to win you a million dollars than Joe Flacco? I, I don't know what his ownership percent would be. It's got to be sub 5%, right? Like, no one's going to be playing Joe Flacco. So immediately, you have a very unique lineup. You're only competing against other Joe Flacco owners, which is probably just some dumbasses uh, in, in Cleveland and maybe maybe a couple Ravens fans like you're really stacking things in your favor just by starting with Joe Flacco Joe Flacco as far as an ownership perspective then um, you know you're you're looking at a, a just it, it just an awesome opportunity for Joe Flacco to sit back there all he has to do at 4600 he throws two touchdown passes this is already a good bet guys with the same price as Joe Flacco yes. Mike White not starting. Not playing. Ryan Tannehill, not playing. Kyle Trask, maybe playing. Andy Dalton, 
probably should be playing. Clayton Toon, not playing. Mitchell Trubisky, not playing. <laughs> Taylor Heineke, <laughs> Teddy Bridgewater, famous Jameis Winston and Sammy D, Sam Darnold. He's cheaper than P.J. Walker. He's cheaper than Jared Stidham. He's cheaper than uh, Tim Boyle. He's cheaper than Bailey Zappi and Mac Jones. Sean, he's cheaper than Marcus Mariota and Easton Stick. Yeah, it's crazy. What's his ceiling? 12 points? No, no. I, <laughs> dude, we talked about it on the show. He had a 40-point performance last he did. year. He did. How many other quarterbacks at this sub-5,000, <laughs> sub-6,000? Zero. Zero point zero. Yeah. Well, is, Jameis is down here. <laughs> is it is it a long shot? Sure, but if you hit on that, you're immediately separating yeah. yourself from the field by so much. I Love mean, it. you saved sixteen hundred dollars from my guy, Mister yes. Sam Howell. I, I would assume a lot of people will be in this Miami Washington game, so maybe okay. not the 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 the. I, I'm not super contrarian here. Hopefully the way I, I go about it is more contrarian, but Sam Howell is shockingly leading the league in passing yards. I still don't understand it. Which doesn't make sense to me. And, and just this offense, no matter what happens, they just have a willingness to go, go, go. Now, I've heard some speculation that maybe uh, the firing of Jack Del Rio, uh, could Ron Rivera tell the enemy to slow down? The o- <laughs> that seems ridiculous because the offense has at least looked competent as the defense needs, needs to play better. So I assume the defense isn't going to exactly get fixed overnight. Uh, probably another good dust up here. And Miami pushes everyone. Washington doesn't need to be pushed. I'll also be playing a Tua lineup, 6,200 Sam Howell. Ooh, okay. I- I think you got to play. I, I'm going to play both sides of this game the way that I'm playing this lineup. So stay tuned. Running back one, Sean. Running back one. All right. Now, Ryan, I'm going back and forth, and I, I and I like uh, the audience. Feel free to weigh in as well. Right now, I have Bijan Robinson slotted in mm-hmm. at the New York Jets. Wow. The slot. How's the slot? Because I do think that's one thing that uh, the the Jets do struggle with is against the run. Bijan seems to be coming on as of late. Again, you got the weather. Do I go Bijan or do I go back to Derrick Henry? Now, Derek, I can p- plug in Derrick Henry. He's 6,800. He's coming off a two-touchdown game. Indy, not necessarily a super physical team. What should I do here? I'm, I kind of want to go Derrick Henry because the more I think about it, the more I want to stay away from that Rams-Jets game because it's so ugly. But then again... If you're just playing the running back, Falcon, maybe you don't Falcon need to. Jets game. But yeah, I think Bijan's your right. Sure. I think you're right to play him. I think he'll be less popular than Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry coming off a two touchdown game. We we bink that uh nice eight to one two touchdown yeah. price, Sean, last weekend. So yeah, I, I would say I, I would always err on the side of not chasing points. Yeah, I but and I, playing a guy who arguably has a higher ceiling than Henry. Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll Chat, tell me what to do. Trust, I think I'm going to... Trust your gut. Uh, Colts, are, Colts are 24th in uh, Rush DVOA. Does that help? No, because what you're playing with Bijan is you're playing the upside of him in the passing game. And yeah. You're, and and you're, you're specifically right. playing against the matchup that tells you that the Jets are a bottom eight team when it comes to defending the running back in the pass game. They've yes, given up a you're bunch right. Of fantasy that's, what, points. that's what I like. I, I would go a step further. I think you can really get get weird and stack this game with the running backs. I think that mm. the Falcons are equally as bad against the running backs in the past game. Yeah. Stay tuned to the ladder show because, or sorry, the ladder show, the VEASAN show where we will be talking. Uh, oh, let's, rename it. let's just call it the ladder show on VEASAN. <laughs> it's 12 segments of just nothing but ladders. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think, I think you're right to play Bijan. It's big of you to come around on Arthur Smith and Bijan Robinson. In a fantasy. So I don't think they're a good team. It's that mustache lifestyle that you're into. All right. R- running back number one for me. Uh, Zeke is uh, banged up. Yes. Ramondre Stevenson has the dream matchup. I was trying to identify if he was if Ramondre is going to be insanely popular this week. And I think... I think there's a lot of cheap running backs that are going to draw ownership. Guys like Zach Moss at 4,600 with no Jonathan Taylor. Uh, so I, I'm going to play Ramondre here. We every once in a while, he just he pops in for one of those games. He's going to get all a, a ton of the carries. I think Zeke is actually banged up, and against the Chargers, you definitely want to work him in the screen game too. So uh, big game loading for Ramondre, 6K. 
Uh, ga- the, yeah, so, I mean, not only uh, really buying into a, a high, high, high flying offense there in New England. <laughs> well, I mean, one man in the box, C.J. Sullivan has him uh, listed as his uh, ladder. He loves Ramon J. Stevenson, and then two Ryan as a guy who's hung out with Justin Decker. Yep. What is his biggest complaint? What is he always screaming at? Linebackers. What? Yes. I, well, I was going to say he also oh. r- really gets upset when the announcers call it a pirouette because technically the ballet move they're doing is not a pirouette, and his wife does ballet, and she insists this is not well, being... Well, what's it actually called? Like a shenane or something like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Plige or something? I, I, a plige. No, I think that's what Desha- up I think a plige is what Deshaun Watson was into. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I admittedly, I don't really know what he's, uh, I'm not touching Deshaun Watson. To, he's on the, he's on the second. I'll take board. a 90 minute please. <laughs> uh, moon off, of course, from the prop guest NFL gambling podcast. Yeah. I mean, uh, he also likes, uh, the, uh, Stevenson play there co-signing it. I will, uh, speaking of moon off and his Texans, give me Devin Singletary, Ryan, 5,900 yards. I think this is an interesting um, dollars. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I said Sean, Sean Bott is upgrading. Yes. Uh he's only fifty nine hundred uh dollars. I almost said yards. Another again. this is like a Sean is changing lineup because <laughs> now you're going against Damian Pierce. You're well, finally I out mean, on him. I, I love Damian Pierce. He is a dog, but I think this is a good opportunity. I mean, because the Denver Broncos really do struggle against pass catching running backs. They've allowed sixty four catches, four hundred and fifty four yards. Uh, you know, what is that like good for six, uh, in the league? I think this is going to be a like really good check down opportunity for, um, uh, for CJ Stroud and Devin Singletary. Plus like the rest of their guys are pretty banged up. You know, they got a backup tight end in tank Dell. Who knows if he's going to go he's, Noah he, Brown is quote. I'm playing That's okay. tank Dell. I love how guys are giving their own injury <laughs> yeah. updates now. So uh, 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 yeah, we'll see if he actually plays, but he says he's playing. Yeah, but this is just a good uh, opportunity for Devin Singletary to get involved in the passing game. They don't throw at all to Damian Pierce. He's coming off a seven-target, six-catch game for 54 yards. I mean, if and he didn't have a touchdown, so if he can get like if he can get in the end zone and still have that passing role, I'd love Devin Singletary here, especially at the price. Yeah, I mean, and you know, look, I'm I just pulled up ownership. He's certainly not within the top. 10 uh, or 15 of projected ownership. So, uh, and as I mentioned, uh, Zach Moss pr- probably going to be at the top of it. Honestly, Sean, I saw that 4,600. A lot of people going to play him because that price, it's a really bad matchup. I, I don't know if, if that's the, the kind of chalk they're projecting uh, Zach Moss to be on over 50% of teams. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. I, can you do that? I, I would love to fade that. I'm going to fade that. I mean, certainly not in a a DFS tournament. You're crazy to put him in there. And uh, Stevenson projected uh, outside the top five, but right there in terms of ownership. And Munoff also pointed out Dalton Schultz doubtful. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they expected to be out. Yeah, if you're listed doubtful these days, you're pretty much out. We can talk about that later, Sean. Oh, wow. Yeah, please. Don't don't spoil my lineup. I I know you like to do that. All right, I'm going to (laughs) stick with another guy. So, should, that's what I'm here for, to should, ruin your lineup. Should catch a little ownership, and I kind of was un- trying to figure out which way I should go. Do I go Najee? Do I go Jalen Warren? If mm. it was you against this Cardinals team, here's my reasoning why I went Warren. It feels like a lot of, a, a lot of positive Najee stuff is being published. Oh, okay. He's, get, he's, he's much better than people are, were suggesting. He's having a great year. He's getting it done. So I, I wanted to, to go ceiling. So I went Warren 5,400. Najee is 200 cheaper. So I guess if you are strapped for a couple hundred dollars, you might want to go down. Uh, but running back two for me in this Arizona matchup, they, they just, you know, you nailed the Zaire White situation for the tight end last week. I would come back at it for the, the running backs in this game. And so well, and, and, I wanted to play one of these Steelers running backs. And in my Kenny Pickett lineup, I actually stack him with, uh, Jalen Warren oh, okay. and Pat Fryermuth because mm. in the same way that Kyron Williams and Tyler Higby just destroyed the Cardinals defense. I think you can expect the same thing uh, from the Steelers this week, Sean, uh, Sean, they're not booing. They're saying, Moo. Moo. all right, so Warren 5,400, another big game for uh Muth. All right. For me, first receiver, got to stack Joey Sachs, AKA Joe Flacco. Give me, <laughs> give me the veteran. 
Joe Flacco. Uh, give me Amari Cooper. He's questionable, but now it sounds uh, he's he's trending in the right direction. Kind of had a rest day. Um, but, yeah, he looks good to go. And Amari Cooper, yeah, he's only $5,700. I think he is the guy to stack with Joe Flacco. I was maybe considering Njoku, but Njoku has really had a case of the drops, and his price is 4100 I'd rather just get up to 5700 And Amari Cooper has made some – a couple of plays this season where you're like, damn, that is an amazing catch. Well, you're, you're on some level, you're playing Flacco because you think you're picturing him like with that, like tilting back the howitzer and just launching it <laughs> yeah. and saying, fuck it. So, if that's the angle. Joe Flacco I, has nothing to lose. I'm not, I would almost think about these lineups. Like I have to stack with a receiver. I have to stack with a downfield. Well, and, 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 and also too, uh, there, we expect a lot of weather on the East coast. It'll be interesting to see how much, how many dome games get played. And, and it's always that balance of like, well, everyone's going to be playing the dome games. Do I zag? Do, do I not? But I, I like this spot here for Amari Cooper. Uh, yeah. Give me Cooper. I know he's a little banged up, but he should be looking pretty good. He plays through it all the time. I would say that the over the majority of the games on the East coast are trending towards rain more than away from rain the one the, the game in tampa the game in uh, philly and the game in washington are trend like the games closer to the coast are going away from rain the cl- games more inland are definitely seeming to have a little bit more game uh, in the earlier games too so uh baba tunde uh in the youtube <laughs> chat uh, saying Joe Flacco may check down to Ford all game or hunt. Ooh. That's certainly an interesting angle. Um, I didn't, you know, Kareem Hunt's banged up. He's 4,700. Jerome Ford's 5,500. Oh, Ford, if you look at the advanced analytics, you want Ford. Okay. Ford's running all the routes. Ford's, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely Ford right now. Uh, and for that price, Delta. But I, I'll, I'll just, I'll keep it simple. I mean, part of uh, playing the Browns here with the stack is that it creates, I, I don't have to invest a ton just give me this Joe Flacco, Amari Cooper connection. If he gets to like 15, 20 points with Flacco, I got a shot. You know, give me, give me 15, 20 yeah. out of Cooper, and I'm winning a milli. All right. That's confidence. Sam Howell's my quarterback, so you know I'm stacking him. Who are you stacking him with? Ah, uh, well, stack number one. I, I, this is where I wanted to make sure I was different because I do think this game will be pop, popular. And I'm not sure Jihad Dotson is the one that people are going to be clicking. Uh, McLaurin, he's easy to, to profile. He's getting the work. He's getting Samuel the Samuel would have been my uh, – Curtis Samuel would have been my instinctive oh, stay, play. stay tuned. Oh, okay. But Jihad Dotson, my first one, 4,600. Uh, he's very cheap. And, again, it, it allowed me to come in with the idea of getting a double stack in for the price of one receiver. Mm. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, I'll just – you know what? You're going to have to go two in a row because I'll just do give you Dotson and Samuel since you already blew the, the – you spoiled it on me. I keep trying to ruin 40, your lineup. 4,100. So 4,100 for Samuel, 4,600 for Dotson, 8,700 total. I'm double stacking here. I wanted to avoid Logan Thomas and Terry McLaurin because I assume they'll be the more popular angles. Maybe people get down to Samuel because his price, based on how many routes he's running and all that good stuff because he's just out there all the time. Uh, so yeah, Dotson Samuels, my Howell double stack. Hopefully we miss the bigger guns and uh, we catch some variants. Dot- Dotson is in for a two touchdown game. I'll say that he's he he is due uh, this season as far as some deep ball touchdowns. Hey, underdog fantasy! If you guys haven't signed up, what are you waiting for? Use that promo code SGPN. Hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars available in a bunch of states. Ryan, you just mentioned Curtis Samuel. Uh, would you want to go? Because obviously you're going to be on some of the hires of Curtis Samuel. Do you like his Russian receiving yards combined at 37 and a half? Yes. Do you like his receiving yards at 35 and a half? Or do you go Curtis Samuel uh, touchdown uh, higher than a half, a.k.a. just basically him to score a, two, a touchdown 2x spicy? Oh, that, so that is a great multiplier to put into an uh, underdog lineup. I, I'm going to co sign that one. What about on the other side? Uh, we have Raheem Mostert in fantasy, Ryan. His rushing yards are set at 49 and a half, seven and a half receiving yards, 11.05 fantasy points. All right. You just trying to avoid Mr. Tyreek Hill for. Oh, you want to go Hill? I, this, this Washington defense has been comically uh, bad. His number. What do you think his receiving yards are set at over an underdog? Is it north of a hundred? 
109? 100 and a half. All right. That's high. <laughs> what is. about Waddle? What's Waddle? Woo! It's smoking my weed! Waddle is uh, 66 and a half. Yeah, that's it. Let's okay, go so Waddle. Yeah, let's do Waddle. Just give you a 2X here. Curtis Samuel uh, to score a touchdown. And Jalen Waddle, higher 66 and a half receiving yards. Just those two uh, projections uh, put together pays 6X. So a $100 wager would win you $600. Underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGPN. And you get the 100% deposit match up to $100. Sean, real quick, yeah. the, the chat is bringing up a great point. Uh, Steven uh, Glansberg, Cedric Tillman, who's a guy that I first noticed when watching the receiver tape. We, we talked about him. I had a piece of him to be the first receiver taken in the draft. He was Jalen Hyatt's teammate at Tennessee, and we mm. talked about how he kind of more resembled like the NFL body, NFL type this uh, coming into the league. When he was drafted by the Browns, it was very interesting. He had some really nice plays last week. If you remember that one play by the Browns receiver, he you know, kind of ran through some guys, showed some real physicality. He might be a fun uh, – you know, I, I know you weren't, you're not always looking to do the double stack anymore, but uh, that, that might be – he's 3,100. Mm. That could be a fun uh, whoop. Yeah, no, I, I don't hate that. I guess – well, all right. Do I play – uh, and I could, I could do a Khalif, uh, I could do a double sack here, Ryan. I'll leave this up to the audience. The audience is helping me out here. Do I uh, put in Khalif Raymond at thirty two hundred dollars? I also have a Saint, which I will be revealing later on in the show. Uh, Khalif Raymond coming off a nice game on Thanksgiving, five catches, ninety yards, even on a limited snap share. Or do I put in Cedric Tillman for thirty one hundred dollars? Is he going to break game correlation? Mm. Well, but you could argue it's going to add game correlation because it's going to give me another Cleveland Brown. Double stack. Yeah. I don't mind it. It certainly it reduces the number of things you have to get right, Sean. All right. I'm going to I'm going to do it. Give me uh update in the lineup as we speak. Cedric don't, Tillman. Don't hit save though. Be careful. We're we're behind <laughs> enemy lines. Uh Cedric Tillman. Why not Cedric Tillman? Let's go. 3100 bucks. You guys just laid out a great case for him at the Rams. Great spot. All right. I already gave out all my, Oh no, wait, I've given out two receivers. Yep. Third receiver, right? Third receiver. Well, we just talked about him. I got to bring it back, right? Jalen Waddle, Mm. bringing it back with Jalen Waddle. You can save two K off a Tyree kill to get down here. And, And we've seen smatterings. And again, this Washington defense just allows you to have the best game of your season. Uh, we've seen it with two giants games. Now, Tommy DeVito and Tyrod Taylor shredded this team. (laughs) You don't think Tua and Mike McDaniel are going to put up some points? I, I, Jay, has Jalen Waddle really had that game yet? No, he has. I mean, he's he's dealt with some injury stuff. Could could be a game you circle and say this could be that game for Jalen Waddle. Everyone loves the celebration in the end zone when he waddles like a penguin. It is fun. My wife really likes that. Yeah, it's a, you know it's the holiday season. It's getting it's winter time. <laughs> 7,600 Jalen Waddle. All right. I, I do like the holiday theme Jalen Waddle selection. Yep. Thank you. I know this one will piss Ryan off, but give me AJ Brown. I'm going to keep playing AJ Brown back to back games where he, he had a touchdown last game, but didn't have a ton of receiving yards game before that only one catch. And I think there is, a, there is an opportunity to act, uh, attack the 49ers with the outside receivers. Who's guarding AJ Brown right on the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, it's, it's a tough mat. I think we discussed this on the preview. Both teams have some deficiencies in the secondary. Yeah. That should be exploitable by the other team. Mm. I certainly like, I, I, I will say it does seem like the, the last three weeks, Dallas, Kansas city, Buffalo, they've looked to take AJ Brown out of the game. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that in the Dallas game. What was his numbers in the Dallas? Game? He said 66 yards. He had a bunch of catches, but 66 yards, seven catches and a touchdown 66. We were seeing him historically dominate teams. And we kept saying, as I was watching it, Decker and I had the, how do you not just take AJ Brown out of the game? And yeah. so I would say holding him being held to under 125 yards over three games has teams focusing on him a bit more as all. Well. And that's why he's going to break out this game. I like Good that. Time. He's due. Well, and, and I think people have seen him uh, not not have these crazy bonkers games, and he's still priced at 8,800. I don't think he's going to be super owned. I've also, we haven't really talked about this, but I like the idea of us leaning into the it's due. 
since the entire world is trying to explain to us that the principle of something being due is not real. <laughs> it does, it's not, that's not the way it works. So no, it's due. Isn't that regressing to the mean? Don't get me started. On these fucking right. nerds. <laughs> no! Tight end. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about him earlier. I love, I love Dalton Schultz. I uh, have so much of him in best ball. I mean, everyone, everyone's probably anticipating my next best ball update, but considering half my teams had Daniel Jones on them, and I'm still advancing north of the expected uh, line, and a lot of that has to do with C.J. Stroud and Dalton Schultz. Thank you very much. I love the situation. It's a, it's, it's a tight end friendly offense, and we've seen Brevin Jordan in previous small stints look really athletic and like someone who could fill the role of this Bobby Slowick offense uh, for what Dalton Schultz has been doing, which is a lot of stuff down the seam, a lot of those crossers, the second option, the middle option. And he's only 2,500. I don't care that he'll be popular this week. I think you got to go there. I think it's, it's a great situation. It's a good matchup against the Broncos. Uh, they're going to be able to work the run game. Sean mentioned Singletary earlier. I think what works off the running game really well is the tight end. And so I like this game to have more points than I think people expect. You mentioned this is a dome game. So maybe a healthier game environment. And, yeah, Brevin Jordan, 2,500. You're playing the touchdown game. If he gets in, like Sean said earlier, I'm winning the million. Yes, I will win the million. Oh, Sorry, how much did you say Brevin Jordan was? 2,500. Okay. He's the yeah, bare minimum. He's stone, stone cold. Yeah. Stone man. Stone cold. Uh, I'm actually paying up for tight end. I, don't, I have no idea who is going to be playing him. I, th- I feel like it'll just be me and a couple other psychos out there. But – Give me the coach's son himself, Taysom Hill, fifty two hundred dollars. I mean, this as I am on the Saints, uh, you know, catching the points. They might be a live dog here, but really, it's it's all about this Detroit Lions defense has just really, really struggled. You saw what they gave up to Tucker Craft. They were making him look good. Uh, I, you know, Justin Fields was throwing all over him. I, and and now you look on the Saints side, uh, you know, in my in my uh, picket lineup, I played Alvin Kamara, but I think Alvin Kamara and uh, Taysom Hill are the ones gonna, who are going to be benefiting from all these Saints injuries. Rashid uh, Shahid is officially out. Chris Olave, while he was a uh, participate in practice, he is still in the concussion protocol. He is not, from what I've seen so far, he has not cleared a uh, protocol yet. He's, he's not going to make it. It does. I would guess not. Uh, no, he's had multiple. He's like a guy that. He, I think his, this is his third one. His time. His timeline to get back is longer because of his history. Ryan, and then another reason why uh, our good buddy from the Sims, Alex Analzone, aka Anzalone, he has now been downgraded to the doubtful. So if you give no anal zone, no, I mean, Taysom Hill without the anal zone uh, defense, he's going to run wild. He's going to get loose. The only thing that can stop Taysom Hill is an <laughs> anal zone. I mean, seriously, he's $5,200, but he could have eight catches a receiving touchdown and a rush. Like one of those crash t- test cars going into the brick wall. Uh, one side's anal zone and the car is Taysom Hill. Yeah. I mean, he's one of my favorite DFS <laughs> plays this week. Taysom Hill oh, all day. Danger. Let's go. All, all right. right. Uh, before we get to that, of course, shout out to factor meals. If you haven't signed up with factor meals yet, what are you waiting for? First off, you get 50% off when you go to factor slash SGPN 50 and use the promo code SGPN 50 factor meals are great. The meals are ready in two minutes, healthy, delicious, nutritious, uh, any sort of dietary restrictions. They got you covered. I hate cooking. I don't know how to cook. Um, factor meals is here. And, and if you're, if you're watching 12 hours a game, you're, you're not going to want to sit down and whip up together a healthy, nutritious meal for yourself. You want to go to the fridge with a meal that was just delivered to you, uh, to your house that tastes good. That has real ingredients. Uh, that tastes delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash SGPN50 and use code SGPN50 to get 50% off. That's code SGPN50, factormeals.com slash SGPN50. And, of course, we're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. I mean, the Parlay Optimizer. Well, where would my life be without the Parlay Optimizer, without the deep data button? Helps you research your props, your parlays. They get you ready to go. And also, you also get 50% off. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. Flex. 
saved a couple bucks. If you're keeping track, you got your notepad, you're doing the math, you're like, wow, got a lot of money left over. What'd you do down here? Uh, double bring back alert, Sean. Give me Tyree Kill to go with Jalen Waddle. Double bring back off the Sam Howell, Dotson, Samuel. So, uh, yeah, it went a little bonkers. Like I said, I'm playing this exact combination with Tua and Sam Howell. The Sam Howell lineup's a little bit more fun mm. because of the savings at quarterback. So, yeah, Sam Howell, Dotson, Samuel, brought back with Waddle and Tyree Kill illegally in the flex. You're, you're up, Sean. Try to top that. Uh, yes, I will try and top that. Give me Puka Nakua for $7,000. A sneaky bring back to that Browns defense. Browns are actually decent against the slot and the tight end. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be cup and, uh, and good Higby game. I think Nakua might be the guy that actually benefits. Uh, there, I mean, there has to, yeah, the Rams are going to have to score some points. So, and put, Puka's interesting. I feel like after that uh, initial start, he's just been like a solid dude. And he, he also runs some slot stuff worth noting. But The slot. How's the slot? All right. You all right, Sean? Yeah, well, the, the, the water guy is texting me. Oh, no. uh, he was trying to get in to drop oh, no. off the water at our office, and someone locked the door. Oh, so no. now, our, now our water's sitting out. Oh, my God. So, yes, I'm dealing with a, a – Ryan, it's all for your LaCroix. The diva over here Someone's gonna, puts down so, nine LaCroix a if, day. If you are in Eagle Rock, California right <laughs> Can now. Can you please let in please our sparkling sky? rescue my – there's a pallet of LaCroix just sitting on the <laughs> sidewalk? <laughs> Oh, you don't just leave bags of cash laying around, around Eagle Rock, California. All right, so I I, uh, I shocked the world with a Sam Howell double with a Dumble bring back. For my defense, Sean, I had $4,000. I could go any defense I wanted. Okay. I went to Miami Dolphins. Really? So not only did I bring it back. With, this, is, this is bad strategy. What do you mean? This game's going to have a shitload of possessions. You don't think the defense can get involved here? You don't care about points against. Mm -hmm. You care about activity. You care about action. So mega super Dolphins commanders onslaught lineup. Dolphins, 3,900. Let's go. <laughs> All right, for me. I just need one defensive touchdown. You're telling me Sam Howell can't give me one? You're telling me Brock Purdy can't give me one oh, Jesus. defensive touchdown? Uh, turnover to the defense to score a touchdown. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles, $2,800 at home. No, you did it wrong. That's the wrong kind of correlation. What do you mean? I'm just kidding. The receiver, A.J. Brown, correlated with the Eagles' defense. They're going to throw all over him, and they're going to sack the shit out of Brock Purdy. Jalen Carter. Up the middle, Hassan Reddick off the side. J you don't think Hassan Reddick is licking his chops? Jalen Carter, two sacks, 9-1. to one. Yes. FYI. FYI. Yes, sir. I know that at the time. I was, I, was, I was already looking into some stuff. What about Hassan Reddick's sack ladder? Right? Hassan. Uh, Slippery, wet conditions. That, 49ers coming in, talking all that smack, all that. Go Debo Samuel called Bradbury uh, trash. And then they asked him, like, hey, do you want to re reiterate? And he's like, yeah, no, the guy's trash. Uh, you know, and we're going to have 70,000 fans going bonkers at Lincoln Financial Field. You don't think that's going to. Impact a little farm boy, Brock Turdy? I would say maybe be careful of... Last time you guys were on a slippery field, it didn't go your way. Okay. Uh, it, your word's not mine. You called it slippery. slippery no, but we, sli no, we had a slippery field against the uh, Bills. Did right. pretty good. Yeah. Slippery field against the Chiefs. So did pretty good. You're over the slippery hump. No, obviously uh, losing the Super Bowl was bullshit, and they shouldn't have overpainted <laughs> that field. That's different, Ryan. Uh, right. Those uh, the the rain is natural. We can we can deal with natural occurrences, not with stuff outside of it. What time is the Eagles game on Sunday? One twenty five. Yes, one twenty five Pacific. We might have to just lie, get a camera on you for the game. I might we, I might just have to set up a live stream that's just recording you, you right. watching the game. I, I'm just I th I've. I've never in, in all the year, I cannot remember a, a game that has had this much anticipation from my perspective, watching hmm. you watch the game. Really? It, very much so. Why? Well, it's because of all this, all the, all the, I mean, Debo, Robbie Gould talking trash. I'm just saying it's peak. You being on the team, you saying we, you taking personal disrespect to the comments being yes. made 
Why would I not? Are we you got, taking we got bills? personal disrespect to the fact that the Niners basically said the loss didn't count because our quarterbacks got hurt. It's just all of it. All I mean, uh, you you took it out on poor Katie Mox on uh, on our podcast on Wednesday. I, I got I got feedback that I wasn't mean enough to Katie Mox. So which is it, uh, Internet? Who was the feedback from? Uh, fellow people uh, probably meaner than me. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I was not mean I'm at just, all. I'm, I'm not going to stand there and go, oh, yeah, you're right. We're going to get our ass kicked. I, I am just, I have not seen, like, I have not seen you ready for battle like this against any team it's a big game, right? in the regular season in a long, long time. As everyone, it's I, the, con, it's the supreme confidence. That's the part that's different. Well, Jalen Hurts is 27 and two as a starter. I'm, I'm just uh, last 29 games. I'm just, I'm why just, would re- I, why would I not be confident? I'm just reporting the we weather. We go down 10 points. Great. Got him right where we want him. It's partly cloudy with a chance of rain. I'm just reporting the weather. <laughs> Just I'm an I'm a newsman. I'm just, I feel like you say that all the time, though. I'm not saying it. Some are saying. It's many are saying. Many are saying. Not uh, many. Some. Just some. I think we did it. Oh uh, wow! Moonoff. Moonoff saying even though Sean is my boss, I am 100 percent Team Katie. Yeah, Whoa. we still we still have these jabrones on our NFL gambling podcast, Ryan, uh, ranking the 49ers as the number two team in their NFL power. Rankings. That'd be a fun. Game. I can't wait until the Eagles beat them. And then they still put the Eagles number two. <laughs> we should, we mean, should cancel you, the NFL this show is a for dream a week scenario. The Philadelphia Eagles are 10 and one. And the amount of disrespect that is getting thrown their way is, is crazy. You would think, okay, Hey, you won the NFC. You went toe to toe with the chiefs. You came up short, fine, run it back next year. You thought that would earn some respect going 10 and one after appearing in the Super Bowl, but no, it's just, oh, you're the luckiest team. Oh, the refs. Oh, Troy Vincent uh, works for the NFL, and he's giving you guys all the flags. No one's saying, oh, Jalen Hurts, a uh, great comeback. Wow, that guy just wins games. Oh, my God, A.J. Brown, historic performance as a receiver. Oh, my God, Jalen Carter. Ryan was talking a ton of smack on him coming into the season. I haven't heard, I haven't heard a Jalen Carter apology. He hasn't earned his dog stripe yet. Okay. Dog. If he wins defensive rookie of the year, will you give him a stripe? I prefer my players to not be, uh, per, you know, performing different forms of larceny in, the, in their personal time. <laughs> larceny? What are you talking he's, about? He's thieving. He's oh, a thief. No. All right, right. And the Eagles brushed it under the rug, so that's I'm, fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed past those comments, Ryan. Yeah, nice. Um, nice work. <laughs> yes. And he oh, could be. I mean, you want to talk about Sean, some I bad remember, guys. I, I, oh, all these Bills fans that are saying, oh, we're bad people. Uh, let's take a look at the Von Miller news if we want to talk about bad people, Ryan. He turned himself in. <laughs> Class act, like all those uh, Bills fans. And, and a Bills fan made a uh, snowman of the horse collar. That, yeah, that's how much we're in people's heads right now. That does that, feel. That horse collar, you guys still got a field goal out of that drive. Like, you act like that changed the game. Feels like that should be a scene out of that uh, <laughs> Silver Linings Playbook movie. <laughs> Uh, Sean, I can relate because the Giants in 20, in 2008, also 10 and one, also a lot of people coming after him after Plax shot himself in the leg. <laughs> and so well, I, that's just funny. That team was not and, losing. And shout out. Game. I, I, and, uh, Adam, uh, Adam Pelletier, manager editor in the YouTube chat. Uh, I, I have no beef with bills fans to be clear. I thought some of them were a little bit whiny about the flags after that game, but I like well, they're, like not the educated, city. they're not educated people. That's okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I lived in upstate New York as a kid. I got a soft spot for the bills, right? How many times have I picked the bills? I had, uh, I was early adopted to the Josh Allen fantasy I, stuff. I would say for AFC teams outside of the Colts and maybe the Steelers, I can't think of Steelers a, has been recent though. Can't think of another team where you have fully gravitated to a team but, that isn't the Eagles. But, but again, I thought it had gone too far. There was clearly some mojo issues going on with the team. The, the hype has gotten too much. They need a reset with their coach. They just, don't yeah, don't they, take they, it out they, on me. They miss Dable. <laughs> they do. I mean, honestly, think about it. When did, <laughs> when did, the, the, when did the, 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 when did it start unraveling? When Dable left to take the head coaching job I mean, for the New York Giants. I, I don't want to give you credit for it, but uh, <laughs> find a different pain point of when things it's one of, It's one of my greatest takes that's going to turn out to be very right. All right. Anything else, Ryan? Uh, no, I think, uh, you know, hopefully uh, everyone tunes in on Sunday. Pre-game show is going to be lit. Pre-game show will be lit. Uh, yes, and of course, still time to get in, watch the Vison show. We will be live in what five hours from the Circa yes. in Las 
Vegas. Make sure you tune into that. And of course, thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Money Green. He's Ryan. You can catch him at the slot machine tonight. The slot. How's the slot? Kramer, let it ride.